How to Pack Alcohol in Your Luggage Packing alcohol in your luggage can be confusing. Before you decide to transport alcohol on a plane, make sure you understand the rules and regulations that govern alcohol on aircraft, such as limits on quantity and alcohol content. Once you've studied these regulations, you can safely and legally pack alcohol in checked or carry on baggage for your next flight. Just make sure you properly package your alcohol for transport before you place it in your luggage so you don't end up with a broken bottle of wine when you reach your final destination. Method 1. Following the Rules 1. Make sure you are of legal drinking age. In most countries it is legal to carry alcohol on board an aircraft in your carry-on luggage or pack it in baggage that will be checked before you board the plane. You must, however, be of legal drinking age to bring alcohol on an aircraft. In the United States, the legal drinking age in 21 years of age. If you are traveling outside the United States, be sure to check with your airline about how old you must be to pack alcohol in your luggage. 2. Transport alcohol in its original container. On most airlines and in most countries, alcohol must be unopened and in its original container to be transported on an aircraft. This applies if you choose to carry it on board a plane in your carry-on luggage, or if you decide to pack it in your checked luggage. On U.S. flights, the Federal Aviation Administration prohibits alcohol that is not unopened and, or in its original container. If you are traveling on a non-U.S. Flight, please check with your airline for country specific guidelines. 3. Check country specific regulations on alcohol content. Individual countries set guidelines concerning limitations on alcohol content in beverages taken on airplanes. For example, in the United States, the Federal Aviation Administration forbids beverages that contain over 70% alcohol or are more than 140 proof. If you are traveling outside the United States, contact your airline for country, specific regulations on alcohol content in beverages carried on board an aircraft. In the U.S., alcoholic beverages containing less than 24% alcohol, such as beer and wine, are not restricted as hazardous materials by the Federal Aviation Administration. 4. Abide by Quantity Limits Individual countries have restrictions on the amount of alcohol you can take on board an aircraft. In the United States, for example, the Federal Aviation Administration limits the amount of alcohol to no more than a total of 5 liters or 1.3 gallons per passenger. For information on flights outside the United States, touch base with your air carrier for country specific details. Method 2 Taking Alcohol in Your Carry On Luggage 1. Understand you can only drink alcohol served by the air carrier. On most flights, you are only allowed to drink alcohol that is served by the airline. For example, Federal Aviation Administration regulations in the United States prohibit the consumption of alcohol on board unless it is served by the airline. This means it is a direct violation of federal regulations to drink alcohol you take on board in your carry-on luggage. 2. Make sure your alcohol meets quantity restrictions for liquids in carry-on luggage. Federal regulators set standards for the amount of liquids, gels, and aerosols that passengers can take on board in their carry-on luggage. For U.S. flights, the Federal Aviation Administration requires that liquids, including alcohol, be in containers that are no more than 100 milliliters or 3.4 ounces in volume. These containers must all fit into a one-quart sized resealable plastic bag. 3. Understand the rules for duty-free alcohol. Duty-free alcohol purchased internationally can be carried on board inbound international flights to the United States. 
The alcohol can be in containers larger than 3.4 ounces or 100 milliliters if packed in a secure, transparent, tamper, evident bag by the retailer. The purchase must have been made within the last 48 hours, and you must have the original receipt present during your flight. If you have a connecting flight after re-entering the U.S., however, you will have to go through security again and the duty, free alcohol will then be subject to the 3.4 ounces or 100 milliliter regulation for liquids in carry-on luggage. Method 3 Packing Alcohol in Your Checked Baggage 1. Exercise Caution the last thing anyone wants is to open up a suitcase filled with shards of glass and wine, soaked clothing. Before decide to pack alcohol in your checked baggage, make sure you consider the durability of your luggage and understand that checked bags are not always handled carefully. 2. Pad the bottles If you are packing beer, wine, or liquor in your checked luggage, it's a good idea to pad the bottles themselves. You can accomplish this by wrapping them in newspaper, bubble wrap, or even clothing like pants or sweaters. Padding the bottles will help protect them against impact and accident while in transport. 3. Wrap bottles in plastic bags Wrapping your beer, wine, or liquor bottles in plastic bags can ameliorate some of the damage should the bottles break during your flight or while your bag is being tossed about before or after boarding. Consider resealable plastic bags and double bag if possible. 4. Place a barrier between bottles. If you are transporting multiple bottles of alcohol in your checked luggage, it's a good idea to put a barrier between the bottles. The last thing you want is for your two bottles of wine to smash into each other and break. A barrier can be something as simple as a pair of shoes or several rolled up pieces of bulky clothing. This step can save you a lot of heartache once you get to your destination. 5. Pad your luggage. Make sure that the sides, bottom, and top of your luggage are padded with your most bulky travel items such as clothing, towels, or blankets. Padding your suitcase in this way will help to create a barrier between the outside of your bag, which will likely get thrashed during transport, and the alcohol you are packing inside it. 6. Consider professionally shipping your alcohol. Sometimes it is easier to have your beer, wine, and liquor shipped professionally. This takes some hassle out of traveling and ensures your alcohol will arrive safely. There are multiple shipping companies that can ship your alcohol for you. This is a great option if you want to travel with more alcohol than is allowed by airline or country, specific regulations, or will fit in your luggage.